everyone, it's Ashley with scrapandash.blogspot.com and I'm here today with another process scrapbooking video. And again, this one is going to be about my son and a quick layout when him and my husband, his dad, went to a fan jam for our basketball team in our state. So, and he got to do... Um, go sit and have fun and go in a bounce house and meet the mascot and play games and get some freebies. So there's what it's going to look like in the end. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so the supplies that I've used is the main background is from Chic Tags. Actually, in fact, all the pattern paper you see here, and I've only used three, are all from the Chic Tags Happy Place collection. And I used Bliss Fuzzy Sweater. Okay, Bliss is the main piece, which is a chevron ombre effect. And it might be hard to see on camera, but it kind of goes from a gray to an aqua, or vice versa if you use it either way. And then the orange one is called Fuzzy Sweater and it also the B side is this piece and then I used Bookworm which are which is the grid and the arrows and then the text so let's get started and I wanted to I kind of came up with this sketch myself I went on to Pinterest and I kind of came up with something like this. It's just a really rough sketch. I've been inspired by sketches and I just wasn't seeing anything that had um, five photos that wasn't a two page spread. I just wanted something to easily slip in into the album. So I went ahead and I cut my photos. I have four three by fours and I've just trimmed them. You could also use the We Are Memory Keepers the new punch that came out for the pocket life or project life and then a 3x4 photo that's kinda he's kinda got a goofy look I think he was over the camera I made my husband take some photos because I did not go it was for them to have some bonding time so I, I'm like leaving the back page as a 3x4 and then the fuzzy sweater I'm going to go ahead and cut the fuzzy sweater. And the one thing that I love about the chic tags is they're so thick. It is so nice. So I'm just going to cut off two inches. And I believe I should have already had this one pre-cut, but I didn't. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut some off the bottom. And we're going to cut off like three. We'll cut off two and a half. Okay. There we go. So we've cut off that piece of paper. And I kind of, what I did was I lined up my three by four photos. And I knew I didn't want you to really see that piece. So... Did that. So I'm going to go ahead and glue down the fuzzy sweater and I choose ATG as my adhesive for my main pieces. I love this, how tacky it is and how it just sticks on really well. And we're just going to go ahead and glue it right there. And I'm going to leave this side a little up because I do put on a silver paper clip. Okay, the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and adhere our pictures. And I'm just going to go ahead and put on the 3 by 4s And I'm just going to go ahead and go all the way to the edge. I guess what I want to make sure is this photo up here at the top, I kind of want it down there. So...
my own border and I just wanted some dimensional if you can tell they're all pop dotted on the page for a 3D look and what I did was I went ahead and just took the pattern papers I like which I used all three of them so I used Bliss, Fuzzy Sweater and Bookworm and I cut strips I cut one and a half um, by whatever I mean I, I did it by 12 and then I went back and I cut them at 1.25 so one and a quarter like that so they're just little rectangles and then I just took my scissors and I made them into a banner or a pennant style and all I did I'll show you when I get to the part to help out I kinda I did a little bit um, so and then I just put on foam adhesive on the back and I know I want that one to stick off the page a little and then I'm just going to kinda do a pattern and I'm lining up right next to each other and you can do this this is a great way to get rid of some scraps And I like it because it was a way for me to pull in some of those other backgrounds that you don't get to see on the B-sides. Okay, so my last one I've left to show you. I'm back to like the basket weave. And it kind of hurt my eyes in a big piece, but all I do is I take some scissors and I start at the corner and I just cut up. And then I flip and I go to the other side and I cut up until I meet at the center. And then you've created a banner pennant. And then you just cut off the extra piece because I made it to where it layered. And that one got a little bit of my foam adhesive. All right, so there is the bottom of the page. I just love it. It just adds some really fun texture and then I kind of just wanted a little bit of decoration down there so what I did was I took the studio studio calico um, stars and I don't have I need to go back Michaels carries these containers that snap together and they are wonderful but I've ran out of them so I need to go get a few more and these you can tell they're just there's so many in a package and they just look, I mean, they're just little stars. So just go ahead and choose a few. And I kind of just did different sizes and I wanted to do the different colors. <coughs> Excuse me. For example, I haven't used a yellow one.
And then we'll go back to a, a darker blue. Okay, so I just put those on with glue dots. And my absolute favorite glue dot brand is the Stampin' Up! kind, um, the mini glue dots. I adore these. These seem to be the best. Um, they hold the most thing. I don't know. Just something about it. I'm a big fan of the Stampin' Up! ones. And you can now shop online, so you don't have to go to a party or anything. Um, that has been wonderful. I'm sorry, I need to... <coughs> I'm getting over being sick. Let's see. Okay, so it just kind of adds a little something to the page. And like I said, you get so many in with the package that it's kind of good to use them. Okay, so at the bottom, I don't know if you noticed, but there was some wording and it worked perfect for what I have. Um, this one says, perfect day, happy place, amazing, hey fun, the story, and priceless. And it was actually the bottom of the, the page on one of my things. <clears throat> so on the back, it's so it's on the back of Bliss with the the UPC. It is where you can use it. I thought that was so clever of them. And I just kind of trimmed the top because you can see a little bit of this ombre chevron. And I'm going to trim it. And then I'm just going to do the same little banner trick at the ends to make it into a banner. And then I'll just put some adhesive on the back. And just put it down at the bottom of your page. That finishes the bottom of the page, and I just think that adds something. And it's so cute. It was so hard not to just not use it. I just love how they did that. Okay, over here was my title, and I used the Thicker's Remarks in smoothie and it's kind of an off red it's not really a deep red or anything so and I am spelling out fan jam that is what the um, event I guess you'd call it is called There's the fan jam. And then on the other side is where I want to, I'm sorry, I'm reaching in front of the camera, is where I wanted to do my journaling. And I went ahead and saved some time by pre-journaling. I'm using Chic Tags again. They have awesome products. This is the Journaling Tags Everyday Life Date ATCs, and there are six of them in here. This is what they look like. There's room for a day and then journaling. So I just went ahead and journaled um, how they went to the fan jam. Aiden got to play in the bounce house, see the mascot, and play games. And then I don't know the brand of this, but it came in some pack. But you should invest in some super tiny letters. I remember getting these a long time ago and being like, what in the world am I going to do with these? I'm so glad I'm a hoarder and I stuck onto them and I kept them because I just think they made the top of that pop. So that is fun. And then just to make it kind of look like it was stapled, I'm using the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher and I'm just going to go through and 
punch the corners or staple the corners. Well, that kind of goes at an angle. And then I'm going to be using a two peas exclusive paper clip. <coughs> Excuse me, in silver. And that is why I left that backing up a little, if you remember. And kind of just to go back there, and I'm going to put a pop dot behind it just to kind of help it stick down. And then another thing I'm going to be using is Studio Calico to kind of go with the clear shapes of the stars. These are a whole bunch of arrows. Oops, that's my phone. And I'm going to be using a, I think it's like a gray. Oh my goodness, I don't know if that's going to show up. I might be trying to focus on it. It's so little. But that's just going to be pointing over here to my son. And I'm going to use the, the attacher again and just attach that. Okay. We're going to go ahead and just attach the journaling card. And I'm going to do it kind of at an angle. And then the one thing I wanted to add something just right here because I can't leave something alone. And I'm going to be using the Skipping 5 Geo Tag Stickers. They're in a orange with a heart. And then when I was doing my first layout, I noticed they just, they weren't as sticky as I would like them to be. If I'm having problems with them on my layout now, I don't want it in a couple of years to be flipping through. So I'm just going to add um, two little blue dots on the back. And I'm just going to put that down there. And then just to kind of finish the page up um, over here, I'm going to be adding my mind's eye, the cut and paste collection um, dot enamel dots. And you can tell I have used these quite often. And I'm just going to go ahead and put down four of them. And you can use whatever colors you want. I'm going to use orange, gray. Here is an aqua, and then we'll do a yellow. And that is our page. So again, I hope you, I'll try to add a, a still picture of it in the end. I know sometimes it's hard to see. I'm not sure if you can see. There we go. If you like these videos, please like them and subscribe for more processing videos and haul videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.